Whether you're peeking mid-doors or trying to clutch a 1v1, the last thing you need is a bad connection in CS2. Ping spikes and packet loss will have you missing shots, throwing rounds, and more importantly, losing your cool. Luckily though, in today's video, we'll be showing you how Duma OS 4 can fix your connection issues in CS2 so you can finally reach Global Elite. Well, we can't actually guarantee you'll get to Global Elite, but we can at least make sure you always have a low ping and stable connection in your Gold Nova games. Before we start setting up Duma OS, the first thing to do is to turn on the telemetry settings in CS2. To do this, open the settings menu, then click on game, and then telemetry. We'd recommend setting show ping and show packet loss to always. Now these are enabled, you'll be able to see important network information whilst you're in game. You'll be able to see when your ping is spiking or if you're experiencing packet loss in real time when you're playing. Once you've followed the steps in the rest of the video, you'll also be able to see your low and stable ping here once your connection has been optimized. So let's start to optimize your connection now. We'll be using Duma OS 4 on the NetDuma R3 gaming router to optimize your connection in today's video. We have a full R3 setup guide on our channel if you've just got your router, we'll link it in the description below. Once your router is connected, the first feature you'll want to set up is GeoFilter. It allows you to control what servers you play on so you can choose to only play on the best servers every game. Once you've opened GeoFilter, you'll want to click Add Device here and select your PC you're playing CS2 on. On the next screen, you'll be able to select the game you want to filter. CS2 comes under Valve Games, which is a bit further down the list. Now your device and CS2 have been added to your Geo Filter, you will only connect to servers within the filter radius around your location when you search for a game. By limiting the available servers to only the ones in your radius, this ensures you only play on nearby servers. You can use another Duma OS feature, Ping Heatmap, to find the locations of the best CS2 servers. To do this, select CS2 from the drop-down menu and watch the servers populate the map. As we are based in the UK, the servers with the best connection for us will be in and around Europe. We can see this by the color-coded map or by using the server list in the side menu. We'll want to include as many of these low-ping servers as possible within our geo-filter radius. This way, we'll only play on these low-ping servers and avoid these higher-ping servers in other regions of the world. Now we've used GeoFilter and Ping Heatmap to connect to the best servers in CS2, it's time to stabilize our connection to these servers. We can do this with Steady Ping, another feature that's included in the GeoFilter UI. It should be enabled by default, but you can turn it on by clicking into the feature here. Steady Ping removes jitter in your connection. Jitter is the constant changes in your ping when you play. You've probably seen this when playing with the telemetry settings on. It's rare to have a completely stable ping value when gaming online, and these constant changes in ping make it harder for the game server to accurately receive your inputs. Steady ping works by adding an artificial ping buffer to your connection. This will slightly increase your ping, but because of this increase it can account for any changes in your ping. This results in an almost perfect stable ping, which will make your gameplay feel insanely responsive. You can see steady ping working in the side menu of GeoFilter. The bottom line on the graph is what your ping would be without steady ping. As you can see, it's rarely ever stable. The top line of the graph is your new and improved, stabilized ping. Okay, we're almost done with the setup. There's just one more feature to go through before you can get to one-tapping people on your new optimized connection. So, now you're only playing on low ping servers and your connection to them has been stabilized. The only thing that will still make you lag is congestion on your network. This will be from other people or applications taking bandwidth away from your gaming. You've probably experienced someone streaming 4K video or starting a file download and your gameplay starts to stutter all of a sudden. Well, this is exactly what Smart Boost in Duma OS 4 fixes. It prioritizes your gaming traffic on the network so nothing else can slow it down. When initially setting up Duma OS 4, you could have selected gaming to be a priority on your network. This will automatically add gaming to your priority list in Smart Boost. If you didn't do this in the setup, you can add it now using this button. All you need to do is have gaming on your list and move it to the top so it's the top priority. Now your gaming traffic will always be sent first on your network, ensuring responsive and stable gameplay. And that wraps up the guide. By using GeoFilter, Steady Ping and Smart Boost in Duma OS 4, you'll now be armed with a low ping and stable connection in CS2. The only problem with this is now you'll have to find another excuse for when you choke the game winning 1v1. We have plenty more Duma OS 4 feature videos on our channel if you would like to learn more about them. Or you can check out our website that will be linked in the description. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.